oh my god, what the hell is this? They went and put a scope on the Martini Henry? Mom, they put a scope on the Martini Henry! My god, they put a ring on it. I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up, guys? Average Sniper here. Can you believe... Can you believe there is finally a scope on the Martini Henry? Formerly only in the Martini Henry, Henry Infantry and now the Martini Henry Sniper. Yes, they did troll us by not putting a marksman scope on it since this is a close to medium range sniper. And you get a glint when you aim in, but goddamn, it has a scope on it. Can you believe it? I am like in shock the whole time I was playing yesterday I was in shock I've never been the biggest martini Henry user because right out the gate I knew it was gonna get nerfed and it did or fixed whatever you want to call it and then it got buffed again and now I don't even know what the hell it is this thing has a scope on it now that you can adjust between five times six times eight times and ten times and it also has a bipod on it can you believe that it has a frickin' a frickin' bipod on it. I am going insane right now. <laughs> and it seems that the sweet spot has changed. You will see several times in this video where I shoot an enemy that is less than 10 meters away and I don't hit him in the head and I get a 100 damage one shot kill. So it looks like the Martini Henry is basically uh, getting, <laughs> getting a complete complete makeover so I spent all day yesterday getting these clips and let me just answer a couple questions I know are gonna come up in the comments uh, before they actually come up no this gun is not available yet in the regular game I am playing in the test environment on PC which is where they introduce new weapons in order for the community to test uh, if you want to test these weapons out anybody can do it but you have to have Battlefield 1 for PC and you have to have the premium version so I don't know if it's worth the money just to play the test environment but there you go now the test environment some of the things make it into the game and some of the things don't but I'm pretty sure that these new weapons are making it into the game so what they did is they made a different weapon variant for each level 10 gun and uh, here's the requirement. I'm not going to talk about the other guns because this is a sniping. This video is just about the Martini Henry. Maybe I'll make another video about the other guns. Maybe not. But I spent all day just getting clips with the Martini Henry just to make this video for you guys and be able to talk about the Martini Henry and show you guys these clips. All right. So in order to unlock the Martini Henry currently, um, the challenge, you don't have to do anything in the CTE. That people complained because they didn't you had to get all the way to rank 10 and then you had to get 300 kills with it and then you had to get bayonet charges it's like are we here to test this or are we here to spend uh, freaking two days just trying to unlock it so they unlocked it in the CTE so we can just play with all the level 10 guns right off the bat which is how it should be in a test environment we don't want to spend four days trying to get the level 10 on each class just to test the level 10 weapons and then do more challenges with them that's crazy uh, but currently, if this comes out and if they keep the challenge the same, you will have to be level 10 scout, so you'll already have to have the Martini Henry, and then you're going to have to get an additional 300 kills. It doesn't matter if you already have 10,000 kills with the Martini Henry, you're going to have to get some more. You are going to have to get some more kills with this thing. So 300 kills with it and 25 bayonet charges. I think the bayonet charges are probably harder for me <laughs> than getting the actual 300 kills. Um, but guys, let me just talk a little bit about the experience I had with this gun. Uh, like I said, I've never been the biggest Martini Henry fan. Not to say that I didn't use the crap out of it when it first came out, but it was never my most used gun, um, like it was for a lot of people, uh, because it was just so powerful. I mean, you make a, you make a gun that's super powerful and you expect people not to use it, you got another thing coming. <laughs> You can see on the little uh, challenge bar there, it's telling me uh, my progress to 300 kills, even though I don't need to do it. Um, so yeah, basically my impression of this gun is it is very powerful. The sweet spot seems to have changed. I haven't completely figured it out. 
Um, it used to be between 30 and 80 meters, and it might still be, but they might have increased the, the damage a little bit for close range. Because like I said in the beginning, there were some guys between 5 and 10 meters away that I nailed one-shot kills on. Um, I no-scoped a lot of them uh, when I was up close, but some of them I even scoped in and did quick scopes. And uh, even still got the one-shot kill, not even a headshot, just to the upper chest, uh, which never happened before. So maybe they're making a change to this rifle uh, to make it more useful for engagements that are closer than 30 meters. But at the same time, I also got a lot of damages between 90 and 99 up close. So I'm not 100% sure what the sweet spot actually is for this new test variant of the Martini Henry. Oh, sorry. That's my alarm clock going off. I woke up super early to make this <laughs> make this video before I have to go to work. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens here. But it's definitely different, and it's so much fun to have a scope on the Martini Henry. The bullet velocity is super slow, so when this gun comes out, if it stays the same as it is now, I recommend you use it like you would use a gun, kind of like in Battlefield 4, or Battlefield Hardline, or Battlefield 3. I uh, kind of lead your targets a little more because your, the muzzle velocity is just. Uh, in the 400s and most of the sniper rifles are between 6 and 800 muzzle velocity so this one is the slowest muzzle velocity ever but if you stay between uh, the range it's meant to be used at between 30 and 80 meters uh, you're gonna be fine but out of that range you're gonna have to lead your targets a lot more so now it has a bipod so you can go prone and you don't have to worry about your scope sway you can just um, have a steady scope the whole time and uh, the, the, like I said, the scope does, it's one of the bigger scopes, which kind of surprises me because I'm, I feel like it's kind of a troll move. Like I was expecting, when I heard about this, I was expecting to unlock it or, or go to use it and it was only going to have a marksman scope, which is like between, you can adjust the magnification between like two times to all the way up to four times. And it doesn't have a scope glint. So I was thinking since the Martini Henry is like a close range sniper rifle, that's uh, exactly what they do. But no, I was wrong. Uh, they decided to troll us, DICE decided to troll us and, and put a large sniper scope on it, uh, which does between five times and 10 times and gives you that scope glint. And honestly, I think the main reason they did that was um, because they maybe they're expecting a lot of people to start using this gun and uh, they don't want people to be invisible with it. They want the scope glint. I don't know. They, that's that's what I think. But there, there could be any reasoning in the world behind it. Well, guys, I have talked too much. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, like I said, my videos get so many more comments than they used to now that I have more subscribers, so it's hard for me to answer them all, but I do read them all, and there's a lot of friendly people in case I don't get to answer your question uh, that will answer your question. So I don't know the release date uh, when they're actually going to put this gun in the game. I don't think anyone does. Uh, but as I get more information, I will share it with you guys. Uh, this video has got, what, about... Um, about five minutes left, so go ahead. I'm going to stop talking, and I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the clips. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you're super hyped as me to uh, start using the Martini Henry Sniper with the scope. My God, totally insane. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next stream, or I'll see you on the next video. Later.